Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Miss Gold today. I'm bringing you Monk Monday number 102. Thank you so much for anyone who sends their gameplay in. Seriously, I love these videos so much. For those of you who don't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have uh, to this email right here, and I critique it. I go over it. Your gameplay, your teammates' gameplay, cooldown usage, everything. I do Miss Weaver. I do Windwalker. I do PVE. So Mythic Plus rating. I do PVP twos, threes, RBGs. I would do skirms. Any MMR any doesn't matter 1200 900 2700 doesn't matter best way to learn is to look at your own gameplay and i'm sorry my microphone's just being annoying um so with that said today we have veneris who's been watching the stream for quite a while um ted has been watching for a couple years but never actually submitted vods uh for review for monday i've always been super self-conscious in my gameplay and streaming as such it was hard for me to pvp but the season something is not clicking hopefully you can help me find out what i am missing no one here is going to judge you man you know it of course no one's going to judge you i'm not going to judge you um and it is a little bit nerve-wracking i do watch occasionally and it is a little bit nerve-wracking to play in front of people especially if you make a mistake um i feel like if i make a mistake i notice it even more if that makes sense uh there's nine games here the first video is accidentally two games because i forgot to stop recording they're all about the same three people and one switch between survival and wing walker and destro lock right, that's kind of that's nice it's nice to have that you, that you have like um like consistent teammates which is nice uh we're all in voice community game, although i turned off audio because the music trying to avoid giving you oh no you're good i mute i mute it anyway don't don't you don't even need to edit anyway man it, it's proud it is no problem at all so uh yeah thanks so much for the opportunity and the tune in two almost three years of entertainment i I don't know what to say, man. I appreciate it so much. I really do. Thank you for some of your games. Like, seriously, I really appreciate it. So, uh, with that said, I, hopefully I can help out. I, it's Miss Weaver's in a tough spot, uh, for sure. If you're not playing, if you're not playing a meta comp, like I was hard stuck pretty much playing Thunder and Thunder is like a pretty decent comp, but like I started, in, I queued Red Warrior and literally went like 300 CR. So, uh, the comps are kind of important this season. So let's start with, um, so this is, uh, Miss Weaver, I would assume survival, but I think, yeah, this is survival because uh, playing the muzzle, uh, I think that's the name of the kick. And then we're playing, it looks like in Holy Death Knight. So we're playing in Survival Hunter, Hunter, Survival, Survival Hunter, Fury Warrior, H Pally. So we'll see here. It looks like we are Venthyr right off the bat. Try out Necrolord. Um, I'm a believer in Venthyr as well. Try out Necrolord, it's pretty good. Fleshcraft is really good. Bone Dust Brew with the Legendary, the Bountiful Brew is even better. So I, I promise, just give it a shot. Uh, but that's the only time I mention it, you know. Venthyr is good too, but I think Necrolord in Arena is definitely better. Uh, looks like they wanna go you. We didn't get a port down, so we Fortifying Brew. It's fine, just try to get a port down instantly or as fast as you can. Um, otherwise, you're gonna get trained to the ground here. Heal Elixirs. Um, Stormbolt, again, we can't port it, and, uh, Cocoon gets used. We ice Cocoon before the Hodge, which is nice. Revival as well. Um, okay, yeah, uh, honestly, so, it, it sucks, but it really comes down to not having a port. Um, I am planning on making a video of this, but what I would say is, on this map, just at the start, put a port down in the room, just instantly, because what happens is if teams, and I, I do this... When I'm queuing against another Mistweaver and I'm playing like Turbo or something, and I notice that they don't put a port down, they run to the middle of the map because they're trying to get a port like in the middle. I say run at the Mistweaver right now because he doesn't have a port down. Um, also, the H Pally is like super undergeared, so maybe uh, maybe could have hit the H Pally and make these guys peel off a little bit more. But this really just comes down not not having a port up. Even you actually we had, we had time to do it. The warrior is all the way over here at the start, so just put a port down and then just roll away. Um, also versus survival hunters, you could play Tiger's Lust, which is nice. I know we're playing we're playing Cheat Torpedo, but um, it's uh, Tiger's Lust is probably pretty good versus survival hunters because they have this annoying harpoon uh, root, and then they also have the other root, um, the binding shot. I think this day, yeah, the binding shot's really annoying too. So this really just comes down to not having a port. Um, maybe could have tricked into this because it looks like it's warrior cooldowns, but. We do get the train cocoon. We do have Rob here too. We revival. Um, it could have robbed maybe and rolled away. We have one cheat torpedo, so rop and like roll away. But yeah, no, it's pretty tough. It, it it's a tough spot to be in for sure. Like it really is. Um, just try to get your port down sooner, and you'll be fine. Like that's that game is I, a fluke in my mind. Um, nothing too crazy about that one. 
uh, there's not much your teammates could have done. You're playing with a Death Knight and a Hunter. The best your Hunter could have done is trap somebody, but they have Trinket. The best your DK could have done is grip somebody, but again, it's a warrior who can charge. So, um, Guardian, <laughs> Guardian Druid. Okay, I don't know the strat versus this one. This is a new one. Um, I would say kill the Guardian Druid, but you could probably just hit the. Honestly, you just want to hit whoever. Try to um him. I have no idea. I literally don't know. Yeah. Actually, wait, time out. On the last game, did we fall in order? Oh, we did fall in order at the end. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure. Because we do a fall in order. Um, what Soulbind also are you using for? It doesn't look like... It looks like we're probably playing Nausea. I try and give Theodore a shot uh, with the versatility from uh, Wasteland Propriety. He gives you 6% verse. So, all right, we got Big Tuna here on the Acid Road. We get him out of stealth. That's Convoke off the rip from the Guardian Druid. Guardian Druid's a kill target then just because they're not Necrolord. And so it's kind of nice. Nice in cap here. And we're looking for a double leg sweep. We're getting Asphyxiate and a leg sweep sun. That's our revival. Uh, again, we don't have a port down. So be careful. Be very careful. Acid Rogues. They got they got they got like two annoying one shots, so just be careful. That's GS from the Holy Priest. We got a trap on the on the Holy Priest as well. Barkskin from the Barkskin from the the Guardian Druid. So there is a chance that you could kill the Guardian Druid because they don't have Barkskin, but it seems like Rogue might be it might be a rogue always have a main target and then have a like swap target. So it might be a as a rogue holy priest kind of game. That's been dead on your DK, Amos, IBF gets used. Yeah, that's that's fine. They go straight to the AMS. Careful, you because we're kind of stacked. We, I don't, I think that blind broke. Yeah, the blind broke, so we trinked into nothing. I mean, it's fine because you you you're, you were gonna trink anyway. But yeah, um, we still had IBF. We still have AMZ if we're using it. So didn't really. I mean, obviously, I've done it too sometimes where like I trink it blind and it actually broke. But yeah, just. Train Cocoon is fine. Um, try to go for maybe a CC. We have in-cap soon on this Priest really soon. Yeah, nice. Really good. Really, really good. Um, I don't know if we have Leg Sweep off. I don't think we do. We, we have Fallen Order as well, so just get ready. Um, they don't have Blind. The, here comes a stun into Fear. Actually, the Fear should be DR because of Blind. I don't know where your DRs are. That's a DR right there. Okay, that's just stun. All right, so now you can get fully feared. Um, but again, outside of Blind, I don't think they have much CC on you. Uh, manatee here we get fallen order going which is really good maybe i would say just one small tidbit try to get a mystic touch out a i mean your fallen order is kind of doing it now but after fallen order try to get mystic touch out to help your hunter a lot i don't know if it helps dk a lot you can just drop here to interrupt this heal nice in cap it's the art it's fine um careful not to stack up on the priest because i could see them trickling to fear and get a triple fear so just be careful because you, you the priest might get a full fear here actually doesn't okay that's cool um I mean, we're doing a great job of surviving, which is nice. Uh, get a port down. I, I would just, yeah, get get a port down and just try to stay far away. Mana-wise, we're doing okay. Um, it's basically double healer, right? Like, like it's literally double healer. So, Kenny shot on you. I don't think they're going to try to kill you. I think they're going to try to kill your DK the whole game. We have AMS back, though. Hopefully, get a kill on the, uh, on the road. Nice trap from your hunter. Oh, nice. After the GS expires, really, really good. Like, perfect timing. The GS expire, just boom, done. Nice. All right, well, thank God. I'm glad you won that game. Let me tell you something. I would have I would have lost it. I would have absolutely lost it. All right, we got some Shadow Cleave versus Windwalker Destro Warlock. Um, pretty tough comp, I'm not going to lie. Probably going to hit your DK quite a bit. Uh, Windwalkers tend to just crank uh, Death Knight. So, as long as your Warlock is using their coils and their fears uh, defensively, just because I, th you, I think your DK can die a little bit easier than most melee, um, you should be fine. Uh, we're still Venthyr. So, we're, we're, I think we're doing kind of pretty good. Again, targets here. I think your DK is kind of going to run at the Warlock with like a Windwalker, you know, like off target. Um, try to get something from the Warlock, go to the Windwalker, try to get something from the Windwalker, go back to the Warlock. Um, you don't have too many kicks for the, um, Resolve Trinket, so that is a little unfortunate. You can use Incap and stuff, but you want to save that for the Priest. Um, but we'll see. We got a statue down. We got to pour it up. Perfect. 
And I guess we're waiting. Let me see. We're waiting. They're scared. They're scared of the Shadow Cleave, I guess. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, whoa. Let me bring it back. Let's bring it. All right, Windwalkers. And wait, did Windwalker use mobility to get here? All right, now I got to bring it back a little bit. No, Windwalker just roll in with Holy Word on. So if we have some kind of purge, I don't think we do. But in-cap off the Holy Word might be useful. Uh, grip on the... Ooh, get get coiled on the grip, which is a little bit unfortunate. Stunned on you, Warlock. Careful, that is our revival before... Dar oh, no, this is Dark Soul. This could this could be fine. I would cocoon, though, because Chaos Bolts are a little scary. Nice cocoon. Yep, and now I would probably Fort Brew or, or Diffuse Magic if you got it, just in case. That's Unending Resolve 2. It's fine. Um, fearful might be a trinket. Yeah, it is stunned on the trinket. Kind of sucks. Let me see if there's anything we could have done. I just, I can't really see what's going on. I, I get your camera angle. You kind of as a healer, you want to make sure you see what's going on. You're like the quarterback of the team. You want to have a like a really good view of what's going on. Um, life cocoon is down. Unending resolve. So I'm trying to see. We have Yulon. We have Fallen Order. So. I would probably use Fallen Order here, like, now. Actually, I would have, uh, my first cooldown probably would have been here. Um, I would have probably used, the Cocoon is fine. Uh, we also used AMZ, which is great. Um, cocoon is good too. But as soon as I see the spread pressure starts going out, also, we focus on healing ourselves a little too much here. You don't need to actually, you could just, you have double healing elixir right now. Just use double healing elixir. They're not even trying to hit you. Um, so healing elixir, and then you have health zone. That way you don't need to channel Soothing Mist on yourself. You could just Cocoon, Renewing Mist, and Velpy Mist on your Warlock and kind of keep him fine. Uh, otherwise, you're just missing on Globals on your Warlock. So um, try to use your Healing Elixirs to heal yourself. And that way it's instant. You don't need to worry about casting it. Um, Gates kind of LOSs you. Nice drop here. Oh, please don't let the touch. And touch goes off. That sucks. Um, I think most of the pressure came here. We had a really good grip go. Like we, we the, the go was here, but then we get coiled on it, um, which is kind of unfortunate. Then we get leg swept and then we get infernal stunned. And then we revival, which is perfect. Good revival, I think it's fair. And we're just spam healing here. Just throw, yeah, just throw cocoon out. Perfect, we have unending resolve, it's fine. But then right here, don't, yeah, it's a waste of globals here to soothing mist yourself. Double healing elixir, boom, off the GCD and then Continue healing your Warlock um, because with Life Cocoon up, um, as you know, um, your Hots heal for more. So it kind of helps you out like a lot more healing on your Warlock. Also, use Fallen Order a, a little bit quick. I would like when I play Venthyr, Fallen Order is my first cooldown. Um, sometimes Life Cocoon is if I if, if it's too fat, like da great Life Cocoon here, by the way, great Life Cocoon. Um, your Fallen Order wouldn't have been able to heal fast enough through it. Um, but if it's a little bit slower, Fallen Order is a really good cooldown. Um, feared here. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything we could have done. I mean, we aimed Z. We, we did so much. Maybe Chains of Ice spam on the on the Windwalker a little bit more. But, I mean, it's it's tough. It's tough. Rop here is good. We still have Fallen Order. We still have Yulon. So, we have cooldowns. It's just like, you don't have time to use them. Uh, I know that your Warlock had a... A, a, a thing here. I, I'm wondering if he used it. I, I feel like maybe a warlock did. Let me see. Unending resolve. Cocoon. I'm waiting to see if the warlock like ports away to like LOS any damage. It doesn't seem like it. Nah, your warlock doesn't. And then you know what your warlock could have done? You know what your warlock could have done? Instead of running around this pillar could have used their port back to the, your other pillar and get away from the Warlock or the Windwalker. So I think it's just a combination of a lot of damage coming out, not using our cooldowns, because it is scary, right? I mean, this Windwalker is doing a ton of damage right here with this Kyrian spell. Um, and the Destro Lock had a soul, uh, not soul, a uh, dark soul up. So F Fallen Order, Yulon, really, really good cooldowns. Life Cocoon just gets absolutely destroyed, so. Use, use uh, Fallen Order a little bit sooner. Your Warlock could have ported right here to probably avoid a little bit more. And I'm sure you would have been fine. Ret Warrior. This is a comp I've been playing a little bit of. It's pretty difficult. It it Don't be discouraged if you lose to this. Uh, this comp is built to just kill Warlocks. And actually, it's also built to kill DKs too. So don't get disheartened. They can, uh, they can actually kill you too. 
<laughs> they could kill anyone on your team. So don't worry about it. Uh, that's IBF straight off the rip. Um, and AMS. We get rooted here. Probably going to go for a capstone into Hex. Hopefully we avoid the Hex. Might be a little bit... I would probably go for a Dispel here. Let me see. No, we don't have it for three. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, maybe uh, since we're doing a little bit of pressure here, I would go for an in-cap here on the Healing Surge. Just because it's Aura Mastery. It's a cooldown. So it's like, if you're a Mistweaver and you get CC on your Zen Focus T, it's, it, you, it sucks because like now you don't have guaranteed healing. I'd go for an in-cap. Beautiful into like a Leg Sweep. Great. Good. Good. We just Revival there. And now we need to heal. Yeah, Life Cocoon's fine. And they go straight through it. Highly recommend, if you have the Conquest for it, buy a Battlemaster Trinket, an Emblem, and it makes your Life Cocoon absorb like 112,000 uh, healing at max. So try that. Also, let's see if you use Fallen Order or Yulon. Don't underestimate them. It is a bit of a meme. Yulon does suck. But Yulon does do quite a bit of healing when someone's actually taking damage. There's Fallen Order. Beautiful. We get Hex full. Positioning-wise is a little bit weird. Because Shaman, Shaman are really annoying. They're really disruptive. So just try to stay out of line with the Shaman here. Just stay on this pillar. Honestly, just stay on the pillar. And heal your Warlock. That way you don't have to worry about the Shaman. Because there's Hexes. There's Shears. There's Ground. There's uh, Slows. There's Root. There's so many annoying things. So... Uh, just try to stay away from the shaman uh, versus rest of Sh yeah don't push in here don't especially versus uh warriors like you know he used fear there defensively it seemed like but still we're a little scared um your warlock should be spamming fears by the way uh, as much as they can it looks like that is chaos will come out great in cap here and we have yulon available ams careful though yeah warrior damage is physical so it's gonna go through the ams uh there's a hex i think i actually don't know what stopped that hex no idea but we'll take that. Nice, nice. Maybe a little, maybe a little wrap off that little leg. Nice, nice little leg sweep. Yeah, we're just as annoying, right? To get that dispel, perfect. We got bubble there. Yeah, be careful here with the shaman. He looks like, oh wow, just swap over the warrior and kills him. All right, hey. all right, that's fine. Positioning wise, though, I definitely don't be here. This is this is the last place you want to be uh, as a misweaver. You don't you don't want to be anywhere near here. This is the middle of the arena. We don't know we don't want to be anywhere near here. <laughs> the rest of shaman are comfortable there. Misweaver, no, you're on the pillar, and you want to stay on the pillar. Um, it allows you to dodge CC and it makes it really hard for teams to interrupt you. And if they do want to CC you, the the pally's gotta like horse over to you, or the or the warriors gotta like leap over to you, and then they don't have to get back. So. Don't make it easy on this other team to CC you or shear you. Like, don't make it easy. I don't even know how this other hex didn't go off. Um, but it would have been pretty rough. I think you would have lost. So just stay close to the pillar. And it'll make games like versus Rest of Shaman and stuff like that way easier. Um, and then don't, you know, don't be afraid to use Yulon. Because Yulon does do quite a bit of healing. So, like, what stops this? The hex went off. Did he hex somebody else? Did he hex the Warlock to get the thing off? I don't know what happened here. This Hex, I don't know who. Maybe Hex went on this guy, I guess. I don't know. Um, but if it was a Hex on you, the game is over. So, yeah, it's a good thing he didn't get a Hex. But, yeah, don't don't come over. You can move into the middle of the map to get CC like this Rop. But uh, be careful when your teammate's dying because you can get an in-cap and, like, still heal. And, uh, yeah, just kind of stay away from the middle of the map. It's, it's scary. It's scary. I see that we're using the uh, badge. Maybe I would definitely try emblem for the bigger cocoons. <sighs> RMP. Okay, so Frost, Asa. So we're, we're, we're looking for cooldowns here. And the cooldowns we're looking for are Deathborn, Icy Veins, Vendetta. Three cooldowns. You're going to line during Deathborn. I, at least your DK probably will. And then Vendetta is just a little scary. Maybe run Dis... Oh, hello. Maybe run Disarm for the Death... I'm, I'm trying to think of what talents. Definitely Zen Focus T. I would run. Z hmm, hmm. No, you're playing with a Warlock. So I would probably play Eminence, Zen Focus, Eminence, Peace Weaver, Disarm for the Asa Rogue. Um, and then it's also very important to know what Covenant this um, this Rogue is because if it's Night Fae, they have the Sepsis that you're going to need to dispel. And if you don't, it's pretty much like lights out. So, um, get a port up just in case. Because if you don't have a port up, they can go you. Or at least they can open you. And it's a little bit scary. Because you'll have to use cooldowns. I see the pre-fortifying brew here, which is nice. Um, we get kicked as well. I think the rogue is just waiting for your fort brew. Nice fallen order here too. 
really really nice keeping the rogue in combat there's deathborn so again this is your decision this whatever your team planned on doing or wants to do this is what you do like this is the, the, the times now it looks like we're going to try to be aggressive with it but this is a little scary um it looks like we trinket the kidney it is vendetta deathborn which is fine but you're not gonna have trinket for blind so which is fine but you have to let your teammate know that like let your team know hey uh it looks like also they are playing sepsis uh on you so be very careful you wanted to spell this this icon right here this blue one you want to spell it instantly it doesn't look like the rogue has force oh no he does yep you got chunked down there uh so just be a little bit careful we don't have port oh we killed the mage oh okay well okay kill the mage all right not locked on frost i guess yeah all right Nice. All right. Nothing I can say. Make sure you get a port down, though. Definitely make sure you play, get a port down, and always play Eminence into Rogue Mage. Uh, at least I would. Uh, it kind of makes it so that, that you're not really a kill target. You could be, but you're not really a kill target because uh, you have a lot of peels from your teammates, and that's a lot scarier when uh, you have a free casting Warlock. Okay. Uh, whoa, Unholy DK, Survival Hunter versus Windwalker Arms Warrior never seen this matchup before but, you, but both the windwalker and the arms warrior are kill targets because you your dk can slow them spam slow them and they can't really go anywhere so keep that in mind also the grips into leg sweep or grips into whatever your setup is doing uh is still good too you could do grip into binding shot or something like that but i don't know if survival hunters have binding shot uh, we got a port our uh, statue down again we don't have a port up so just be be careful uh we're pushing it okay the leg sweep is good uh, I'm a little scared for you though, because this team tries to kill you. You're gonna die instantly. Like you're gonna die literally instantly. I'm very surprised they're not trying. Um, so uh, the priest just got down from flying. That's a leg sweep on your DK. Nice in cap. Uh, again, we have no port, so that's feign death from your hunter. It looks like bone dust brew from the windwalker. So they're obviously going all in, but obviously the windwalker is the kill target. Which I would be surprised if we didn't get a kill because there's no karma. We use fallen order too, which is good. Um, we're doing overall pretty good. They didn't get any CC on you until now. And then this is where you're going to start taking some damage here. It's a little bit scary. Um, but it looks like the Windwalker can definitely die. Try to get like a Rop maybe on the next heal. Nice. Beautiful. Really good. And the Windwalker can't really get away. Careful with the Blade Storm though. Don't try to stack up. Good. I'm just scared for you when we don't have Port up. Especially that's War Banner from the Hunt from the Warrior. So CC is going to be reduced. And yeah, this is just a result of not having a port. It is a little bit scary. It, it gets really scary. Um, there's a port. We have leg sweep right now. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get. He fist. Yeah. Unfortunately for you, we. So what you? What I would have. Mm, what I would have potentially done is, this windwalker fisted. Uh, like kind of close. Well, I would have door shadows probably away or tried to and then instantly healed. But the fist of fury right here, you're locked out still. Go for an incap on the fist and leg sweep off and potentially. But they both have trinket, so you probably still dead here. Um, this is only a result of you not having a uh, port up. It sucks. I know we have fort brew, but it's still not enough. Versus windwalker, especially touch of death, it just doesn't matter. Um, it, positioning and not having a port is probably the most important thing. Don't. Doesn't me. I promise you, I want I, I want to be in the middle of the map. Right here is where you should be. All game. Right here. Your home right here. If they get close to you, rop, rop the freaking stairs and make sure they can't touch you. I mean, that's just how it is. It sucks, but that's just how it is. So, rop right here at the top. Get the warrior off you. Stay up here. Do not roll off these stairs. Because as soon as you expose yourself to this team, especially without a port... Um, you're gonna die. Uh, also, we kind of waste Zen Focus T here, because uh, they don't have a range kick, so that so didn't have to Zen Focus T here, um, which is a small mistake. But in the end, you you know you're the one that died. If you had it, you probably could have lived. So again, you can't really make small mistakes as Miss Weaver, especially this season. Can't afford it. Sucks. Um, I'm also uh, would be surprised if we're playing not playing Disarm too, because I think Disarm is really good in two warriors. Um, but yeah, almost killed this miss sweep or this windwalker. But yeah, uh, don't st don't don't go in the middle of the map. Also, the hunter pet dies, which kind of sucks. Don't uh, don't go in the middle of the map. Stay far away and get a port down asap, asap. Our, uh, RPS. 
decently favored into this. Misweavers do pretty well. Uh, you make sure you, you really just want to dispel off cooldown versus um, dispel vampiric touch, uh, poisons, shadow word death or shadow word pains, anything, anything. It just dispel it all. Flame shocks, dispel it all as much as you can off cooldown. It'll make it a lot easier. And uh, play disarm probably disarm. Peace Weaver, last one can be Chrysalis or Eminence, whichever, if you think you're going to go Eminence, it's up to you. But you're playing with a Warlock, so odds of that probably, you, you can kind of get away with playing uh, Chrysalis. Uh, they might go you. This team's going to go you because they sapped your Warlock, so just be careful. That's Trinket instantly, and Vendetta. That's Vendetta as well, and Silence and Hex, Cocoon. Yeah, uh, just Port. Yeah, um, I don't know if we're playing Port Rostand. I don't know if we are or not. Um, but yeah, mistake number one is uh, being out out of range of a Port. See, we're in range of a Port now, which is nice. And if we can Port Rostand, this is Vendetta. It, there's no better time than the Port this done. So. If you're playing port while stunned, use it. If you need to trink it, trink it and port and get out of it. Don't, you don't have to waste fortifying brew. Um, like trink it for it, kind of a little bit of a waste. Um, I would, well, it's not really a waste. As long as you use one or the other, um, I would have ported. But yeah, as long as you don't port and use all your cooldowns, you should be fine. Uh, you could use healing elixirs. You could use healing elixirs while silenced. So, you know, they, uh, um, this is sepsis. The, looks like the Shadow Priest is Necrolord, so there's no fall, um, there's no mind games. So I would just um, healing elixir while silenced. Maybe get a stun on the rogue here because your leg swept, and uh, we cocoon and we revival. So we use a lot of cooldowns. I would get out of there like ASAP. Yeah, don't get out of there, please. Nice in cap on the shaman. Nice reverse pressure here. Gonna get leg sweep off. Got trinket from both them. Maybe a rop on the shaman just to stop, deny the uh, spirit link totem if they're gonna go for it. They actually don't go for it, which is nice. I am scared for you though, because um, they they did they went hard there. There's smoke bomb. Uh, we're rolling in. Nice rop. Um, I would get a Yulon going. Yulon or fall in order here. Uh, as soon as like maybe next Sundiar. Uh, maybe Yulon because. Her healing is really good when you're in crowd control, but the odds are that they're probably going to go you. So since they're going to go you and we've moved around on the map, I would reset your port around here and then roll away from it. So that way they can't instantly, you know, get back to you once you port. Because I feel like they want to go you. They absolutely want to go you. They, I would fall in order right now. Okay. Uh, we're corroded. That's another vendetta. Silence. Yeah, we're dead. Uh, yeah. This just comes down to... Hmm. Definitely play Eminence versus this. And then here, it, it, the Trinket is your most important cooldown, okay? Like, don't don't get it wrong. Trinket is like the most important cooldown for Miss Weavers, which sucks, right? But you, what you wanna do is you wanna hold on to that as, as long as you can. So if you're playing Eminence, it's Vendetta, port it instantly, you save your Trinket, you don't need to, like, you don't need to worry. Um, or trinket pour at least that way you can like pre-fortifying brew the next go but you know that's that's just what i would have done and then this next go i would have potentially you they obviously want to kill you or not obviously they want to kill you because you don't have cooldowns right you're no amz from your death knight your warlock doesn't have coil for peels you have no trinket or fortifying brew so right about here especially after this kidney shot is where you want to you want to kind of get yulon or fallen order going it doesn't matter which but pick one and then make sure you get you start healing yourself like quite a bit um maybe there's a chance we could have lived let me see uh, you can do stuff while silent so we get the four set which is nice i would have definitely fallen order shaman actually's purse enveloping this instantly um but i would have gotten fallen order like instantly down right here like this this right here i mean they're obviously trying to go you shamans like in line of you just spam purging you and uh yeah devouring plague on you as well i don't even think we get out of the stun do we let me see all right so we're out of the stun healing elixirs and then you can incap the priest as well because they have no trinket um there's a coil on the rogue but yeah it just doesn't matter yeah it also 
Uh, our, we ran out of range of port. Whenever you move around on the map, always reset your port. Always get in habit. So as soon as you move pillars, so let's let's see, we moved pillars here. First of all, don't again, don't ever push in. I swear, please don't ever. Oh my god, don't push in like. Your team shouldn't be pushing in like this as well. I mean, it kind of sucks that you have your team pushing in. Um, but we did move around pillars. So I would I would instantly put like a port like maybe over here or like back behind one of these tigers here before pushing in. That way, if they do swap to you, you just port instantly and they can't reconnect. So, yeah. It, but you can't make any mistakes. Like, you can't position wrong. You can't do anything like that. You, you no, There's no mistakes on Mistweaver these days. Uh, if you make one, it's over. And that's just how it is. Um, a little bit of Walking Dead here, which is nice. Windwalker DK is pretty solid. Windwalker, Marksmanship Hunter. I'm thinking Marksmanship Hunter is probably the kill target. You could swap between the Marksmanship Hunter and Disc Priest, but you have a lot of cleaves, so actually anyone can die here. Like, straight up, you could probably kill... You have a lot of cleaves, so you don't even need to, you don't even need to grip in the Priest. Just grip in the Hunter, stun on the Windwalker, and you should be able to get a kill. Get an in-cap on the Priest when uh, you get a leg sweep on the, on the DPS. Should be fine, but they are going to try to kill you. Like, don't get me wrong. They're, they're probably going to try to kill you. Again, we 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 have a port. So, this will be interesting. I would port instantly. Okay, we're going to roll away Cocoon. Okay, this is fine. For now, uh, we have the debuff down from the Windwalk or from the Marksmanship Hunter. What kind of stacks on our port, which is a little scary. Uh, yeah. Um, wait, let me see what talents you were playing. <sighs> If I was to queue into this team, I would definitely play Eminence. I would drop Dematerialize for Disarm. I think Chrysalis is fine. Um, but Dematerialize really isn't that good. It's really not. Because most teams don't really do damage to you right away. I would say the biggest mistake here... Here's, here's The biggest mistake is uh, positioning. A, a lot of these games seem to be positioning is the issue. Port down. Perfect. Good. Awesome. Windwalker uses all of their mobility. Literally every single mobility. Don't go towards this Windwalker. Yeah, keep running away. Incap on you. It's fine. It's fine. I would have, instead of pushing towards your port to the right, I would have disarmed this. Or not disarmed. Dispelled the slow off me. And started, I would have CC'd this hunter. ASAP. ASAP. Uh, probably oh, Fort Brew is nice. I would have dropped Fallen Order too. I would have dropped like Fallen Order, Fort Brew. And then I would CC this Hunter instantly. Uh, he disarms. What is that? He disarmed. I don't even know what he disarmed. Or uh, Trinket. I think he Trinket disarm. In cap, leg sweep, disarm him. That entire two shot aura. And then you have a second roll here. Probably didn't need to life cocoon here because the marksmanship Hunter, I think, is all the way over here. I would have rolled up these stairs or rolled this way. One of the other. And then just kept running. Like, don't, like, just run. Yeah. And then, unfortunately, the reason our kiting was a little bit poor is because now we're stacked in our port and we can't really do much. So, here in this situation, one, try to avoid it completely by kiting a slightly better away from your port towards your team. But if you're in situations like this, just trade the trinket. Um, it's Next go, you'll have your port, right? So, trade the trinket here. Revival. And uh, you know what? Buy Battlemaster trinket as well. Um, instead of Emblem... I know you're playing it. Don't don't play emblem. It's or not. Uh, what is it? Badge. Don't play badge. Play play emblem. Gives you like twenty two thousand health instantly, and then it'll also buff your life cocoon. And then try out necrolord too. Um, it's it, it helps quite a bit. Um, I'm trying to see what we're looking at here. Celerity. Yeah. No, it's just a lot of damage. Marksmanship hunters do a lot of damage. Um. And then we have Windwalker Enhancement Shaman is is very scary. It's very very scary. Recommend playing Disarm here for for the Enhancement Shaman. Play Eminence as well because they can try to kill you. And then play like Zen Focus T as well. They got one range kick, but in case they try to go you, it's a little scary. Touch it out. Yeah, they try to kill you. Static Field Totem. You can actually kill it. Oh, nice, nice. All right, we're out of there. I would rob instantly. Rob. Okay. Um, we're on our port. We trinket. Fair. That's fair trade. It's a lot of cooldowns. I would rop them and roll through it. Cocoon. Nice rop. Beautiful rop. I would roll right through it because they're going to rop on top of you. 
And yeah, you don't want that to ever happen. I, yes, perfect, perfect. Good roll. Um, Fallen Order gets used. Fortifying Brew gets used. Good trades. We used Leg Sweep already. Um, Bop on the Windwalker. Uh, Sack also on the Windwalker. So the Windwalker used a lot of cooldowns there. Um, so we're doing a pretty good job. We still have port. Don't want to waste the port. Wait for next next stun on you, and we should be okay. Careful about going to... Yes, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. Great job. Yes. Um, port is a little bit scary now for next stun. Uh, next Hodge, we might die, but kite towards your team, and we should be okay. Get a little in-cap here on the pally, maybe in three seconds. You could even in-cap the Windwalker here. Either one, in-cap anything, I'm going to be honest. And then don't... Don't forget about Dwarf Shadows as well. Like, um, the Shaman is LOS here. Just eat this kick from the Windwalker and then try to Dwarf Shadows away. Um, it's on a different school, which is nice. You could Dwarf Shadows up here. Uh, it's really, really nice. Really, really helpful. We ROP. Careful. They might ROP on top of you. We have a roll. I would roll. Yeah, roll. Oh. No, we can't roll. We're dead. No, we have Leg Sweep, though. We have Leg Sweep. Yeah, Leg Sweep. Perfect. Great. Honestly, insane job. Oh, like sweep. Now we're dead. We have port in 2-1. Yes, yes. Oh. Yeah, that's why we tr try to, like, get away. Use expel harm a little bit more, too. Like, don't be... Expel harm is really, really good. Um, you know, it's really... It's decent instant healing uh, as well. So, keep that in mind. Uh, Door of Shadows. Incap something. Uh, looks like neither of them have trinket. I would incap the Windwalker here because it's Storm, Earth, and Fire. So, incap the Windwalker and, like, try to heal. But we do get sheared. We can still get in cap, but I think the image will probably kill you. It's tough. It's it's a tough world to live in, you know? Like, it, it's just hard because Mistweavers do kind of die. But I'll try to go through the games. Overall, from what I saw, your healing is fine. Potentially just drop Venthyr and play Necrolord. Like, I know that Seedu plays Venthyr, and it's decent. I think it's pretty good. I think Necrolord is way better. Necrolord gives you more survivability from Fleshcraft. It gives you way more healing with Bone Dust Brew. And it gives you way more healing with Bountiful Brew, which is your second legendary on your Unity slot. So, I would try out Necrolord. That's first. Two, uh, a lot of it was positioning. So, make sure, first thing you do is always put a port down. It's really, really important. Uh, especially versus, you know, games like this. I think it also happened uh, here... And then here, and then I think we got a port down here. No, we didn't. No, no, we didn't. So just always make sure you have a port down. If you move around on the map, just get in the habit of putting a port down. Which one? It was this one. Whenever you move around on the map, get in the habit of resetting your port and resetting your statue all the time. You see, you'll see me do it all the time. Like, watch any VOD. I will reset my port on top of my port that's already there because it's a habit. You know, it's just, and just keep practicing over and over. It's, it's just building a habit of it. Um, so positioning with ports and and try Necrolord out are two main things. Positioning wise, I would, don't try to do too much. You know, don't, don't trust me. If you try to play the game, you'll get punished for it. I promise you, I've lost like, 15 games in a row trying to play the game don't play the game focus on healing that, that's all you have to do like if you're playing with a destro warlock and a windwalker or what are we playing shadow cleave if you're playing with a windwalker if you're playing with a destro warlock and a holy death knight don't don't do too much focus on keeping your team alive that's that's the most basic thing you're going to do just keep your team alive as much as you can like as best as you can um and then the last thing i would say overall is um when it comes to trading cooldowns especially when teams are targeting you this song might be able to, I don't know. Um, especially when teams are targeting you, port, port is your first cooldown. No matter what, port is your first cooldown every single time. Uh, right here, port. Instantly, just port. Just port. Just get out of there. Port LOS. Fine. You're fine. Like, you'll be okay. The Shadow Priest has, like, no mobility to get to you. Just port instantly, and you'll be fine. So... Uh, game by game, uh, I can go game by game as well. This one really just came to not having a port available. That's pretty much it. This one was fine. Uh, just didn't have a port up. Sucks. The Guardian Druid one was good. It was good. I didn't see anything issue. Don't run into the middle map though. Like, it, it, also try to get Mystic Touch out when you can. If you're playing with the Hunter, they have a lot of physical damage. So true, you best do that. Uh, Shadow Cleaver's Windwalker Destro. This one, 
it was a combination of not using many cooldowns. We didn't use Fall in Order. We didn't use Yulon. Don't underutilize Yulon. She is normally my first cooldown for like, if teams aren't killing me, I'll put Yulon out. So Yulon's really good. And, and your Warlock's kiting was a little bit, I don't want to say poor, but just a little bit weird because we gate. And then as soon as the Windwalker gets to your Warlock, you, your Warlock could port right here. So just try to just remember to kite and you should be fine. This one was fine, but scary. Don't this right here. Nah, nah, don't this right here. Don't, <laughs> don't ever be in the middle of the map ever. Don't ever do it. It's not worth it. It never is worth it as a Mistweaver ever. You don't have anything to really help you out. So, um, also, I'd like to see your talents. I know if you're playing, if you're playing disarm, uh, try to disarm warrior. It, it looks like that's his recklessness. So just keep that in mind. Um, but don't stand in the middle of the map. Just stay by the pillar, heal your teammates. It, it helps you avoid CC and shears and accidents and all the annoying stuff that shamans have. This one was just, I'm glad you guys won. <laughs> I'm glad you guys won when you did because the next candy shot, you were going to die. Um, but yeah, uh, just make sure you get a port down and play eminence, especially versus RMP or anything with consistent stuns, pallies, uh, warriors, rogues, dudes. Uh, this one, just because we repositioned on the map and we didn't have a port, uh, on this, just stay up here. Just stay up here. Don't, if they try to get you, drop them down. If they keep, continue to hit you, put you, keep your port up here, jump down, port up. They, they, I guarantee you, they will leave you alone. They will absolutely leave you alone. This one was just a poor trade of cooldowns. Again, I've said it before, just port here. And then, or a trinket port, and that way you have fallen order stuff for next go. That's pretty much it. Uh, Walking Dead versus Hunter Windwalker. Again, positioning killed you here. Try to kite away from your port, and that way you could kind of CC. Also, this is images, so could have wrapped the images, like for sure. And then try to CC the Hunter with disarms, in caps, he triggers instantly. Um, Life Cocoon is in the cooldown. So. And then this one, again, positioning as well. Are we stack on the pillar that our port is on? Don't want to do that. Maybe you want to play, definitely put your port here, but then roll around over here, get away, port back. They don't have that much mobility. I mean, the Windwalker does, but the Shaman will kind of struggle, and then that's when your teammates are going to kill him. Uh, also, buy an emblem trinket. Buy an emblem. Don't use a uh, badge. You buy emblem. It gives you like 22,000 health at max rank. Buffs your life cocoon, buffs your healing elixirs because your life cocoon and healing elixirs are based off of your health. So keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions for you. Hopefully this was helpful for you or anyone who might be struggling in the same position. And that's it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you later.